here, finally. It's just a big day. Studio bricks being delivered. Two giant, giant crates, 1,800 pounds each. We got George Whittem. We got Larry Hudson. We got Scott Laverty helping us out. We need muscle. What are you doing, George? I'm shooting my nerdy 360 VR video. I'm shooting you shooting your nerdy <laughs> VR. Hey, Larry Hudson. Hi. Here Thanks it is. Big day. Here. Big day. New stuff. We appreciate you. Thank you. Hey, Scott Laverty. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Hold on. I wanted is, to, it's got to be about does me. Does it fit on the lift gate? <laughs> Hallelujah. And he's, and he's a, a, a forklift operator. Yeah, man. Work in shifts. <laughs> I feel guilty just watching Larry do this. Okay, the, I'm loving the it. feeling is past. MacGyver, MacGyver at his best. Larry's been polishing is... that crowbar for weeks. This is what Larry, this is what Larry lives for. Polishing and sharpening it. Yeah, right. Showtime. Whatever there you it is, go. we're taking it. Yeah, yeah. They're moving out. It's showtime, people. Let's build the perks. <laughs> Yeah, about pretty... 90 minutes from truck to... Yeah. So everything Studio. is here. It's organized in its section. <coughs> it's packed beautifully. So now it's like Tetris. And we are going to assemble. This We're going to grab some thing. lunch, yeah. then assemble. Yeah. <laughs> in that order. <laughs> nice job, everybody. Go team. All right. Go team. Yay, yeah. George, Scott, Larry. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck doing manual labor.
Bryce, how do you feel? Awesome. Are you going some, to Disneyland? We're gonna get some lattes. You I'm not even a, ready to go to Disney. You built a studio, Bricks. What are you gonna do now? We're going to Betson's. <laughs> oh wait, that's a Jersey thing. Good job, George. So George Whittem is getting a little work done. Uh, we're bringing our little George back ow. to life. He's getting a double Stacy Larry special. This is a Jugiver and... And McGalver. McGalver. Jugiver and McGalver. <laughs> And this uh, is George the Tech. Uh, we just finished putting the booth together. Eight and George ten, is in pain. Breathe, Georgie. Uh, breathe, Georgie. We take care of our people. Thank you. People. Oh. That's my trouble spot, the shoulder. Okay, the shoulder. over and out, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. So if you ever want to change the configuration of your studio bricks, the foam on the ceiling is glued really, really well. So I'm using a chisel to scrape the glue off as I peel so we can fit our base traps into that space. Why would you do that, you're asking? Because it looks the best. And it's the only way to get them to stay up. We just finished that one a few minutes ago. I'd stand up. And this one over here on this side too. We need these base traps, don't we, George? <laughs> <laughs> These base traps are the difference between a decent sounding booth and a really good sounding booth. Yeah. They make a big difference. It took Dude. a while, but we figured it out, right? Yeah. Yep. Never quit. All right, we're going to show you guys more in a little while. Stacy J on the scene with George the Tech Widom. George, you you look a little. Oh, we did we work did we, did we break you? We we have been, we've been spending a lot of time with George, which has been fantastic because he's one of our favorite people in the whole world. But we have um, accomplished quite a bit. What are some highlights for you, George? <laughs> Well, I mean, one of the highlights was accomplishing a way to hang our base traps up on the ceiling yeah. that didn't fall down, because they did fall down numerous <laughs> times. The first Can time they fell down, the, noise the first time made... they fell down, we were like outside the booth and we heard, it sounded like, like a cat <laughs> jumping onto the roof of your house, like, yeah. blum, 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 like that. Yeah. What the heck was that? Yeah. And then it only hit you a couple of times in the head. Uh, yeah, only a few times. The acceleration wasn't too bad that... You didn't get hurt. Combination of cutting a hole in the ceiling foam, yes. making a hole for the base trap, liquid nails, some adhesive tape, and the coup de gras, two wood screws from Chuck. Chuck Duran. Do extra, do a little extra yeah. anchoring, and we got those suckers to stay yeah. up there. Yes. Gorgeous. That was, that was a big turning point in the morale of the day. Through. But for people out there, man, because what we did, we did so much. We literally took a giant booth that came from a different part of the country, took it out of a crate, put it together piece by piece, literally, studio brick, and then worked on the interior and getting it all spiffy and stuff like this today. So for people out there that are doing this kind of stuff, you know, putting a booth together, George, what are 
a few key tips that you think we learned through this whole process that you really, really need to have in line before you do something like that? Well, you have to have a plan for how you're going to attach your acoustical panels, right? Because the we're using foam panels because they actually come with a studio bricks booth. But I opted to not have them pre-attached because we wanted to have That's total right. control mm -hmm. of where they're going to be mounted. Normally, they are pre-glued to the walls. So we opted not to. And in the factory, they use some super hardcore heavy-duty glue, I'm sure, some kind of ma major glue. So we didn't have that available to us. At first, we didn't want to use glue. I was kind of shying away from glue because I was concerned about VOCs, fumes, things like that, exactly. and the mess that comes with it. So we tried using carpet tape, thinking it's very sticky, it seems very simple, easy, clean. But we found out that no matter how sticky it was, all it wanted to do was stick to us. <laughs> exactly. Stick to us and itself or the wall, but it did not want to stick to the foam very well, yeah. no matter how sticky the stuff was. So in the end, after spending a lot of time messing with this carpet tape, buying a bunch of rolls, cutting it to length, peeling off the backing, which Stacy knows was a pain in the neck, it was not worth it. And we ended up going, leaning back on good old 3M Super 77 spray glue. And yep. it wasn't that smelly in the end. It was nowhere near as a big problem as I think I had remembered the last time I used it. Yeah. Just being very careful to shield glass and things you don't want to get glue on. Use a piece of cardboard to create a shield. And it, it's nothing's fallen off yet. It's everything staying yeah. up there. It feels sturdy. And again, it does not have a strong odor. It's not odor free, but a week Yet. or two of off gassing, door open, ventilation on full blast. I think it's going to I think it's going to smell fine. It's not going to be an issue. Yeah. And the end result, you know, speaks for itself. Absolutely. Most importantly, the sound. We just finished recording some the samples sound. with George and myself and Stacy voicing a few things. And what did you think about that? It doesn't sound boothy. We're so used to booths having a booth sound, which is very, very dead or very muffled or very, it's hard to describe, kind of almost a little muffly. Yeah, a little really, muffly. Really, really dead. Sometimes and super, a little super dead. bottom heavy or boomy, right? This room did not exhibit any of those things. It yeah, sounds... it actually sounded like a big booth in a major recording studio. And yeah. I think that part of that has to do because, A, we didn't put panels uh, uh uh, acoustic panels everywhere. It's not wallpapered floor to ceiling. Exactly. There is there is open space without paneling. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. take you guys and show. And then also Ooh. the eight foot taller yes. booth as opposed to the normal seven. That extra foot makes a huge difference too. That's right. If yeah. you have the obviously we have the ceiling clearance, so we have the ability to do that. But if you do, yeah. and you have the space. Go for the extended height. It makes a really huge big difference, difference yeah. especially if you're a tall actor. To have that extra space, it yeah. really. I'm gonna take them on. Go a little, take them on a spin. A little tour. There we go. So we wanted to have a clean look where it looked factory, like all the stuff has always been there. We tried very hard to make clean lines, everything parallel. And there are those base traps, George. There's the base traps. So far, so good, baby. Yeah. They're up there. I think they're up there for good now. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, the end result sounds great. And that was the big deal. And you can talk in here and get an idea, but you don't really know until you actually put up a mic, hit record, and listen to it back. And that's yeah. the truth. Yeah, that and there's the ventilation. The there's two, there's two units. Two of them. Two of them. There's so we get George's twice the airflow. Cute little knees and shoes. Aww. Those, did, those do not come with the studio bricks, by the way. Those are extra custom. And then we have some extra, especially, especially custom. We've got some really cool custom lighting. Yes. There's a strip of colored LED. Yes, and you underneath. can change colors. That's right. You can make them flash. It is like mm -hmm. a disco in here. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the, another really cool thing that makes this booth super pro and really great looking is the Mica, uh, mm -hmm. Yellow Tech Mica copy holder. And yeah, Yellow Tech mic arm, which is like makes it look really nice. It's not cheap, but it's a great feature, yeah, and it really cheap, is a. But it feels like it's going to last forever. Absolutely. And it's very easy to adjust the height exactly where you want it. It feels really pro. 
yeah. and it looks pro and it just it really creates it takes this it elevates the space yeah you know so and that desk is really nice yeah this was all part of the vo edition yep package mm -hmm. so the vo yeah. edition package included the shelf the copy holder and the mic boom yeah um you can also put a monitor on this if you prefer you can mount a computer monitor onto this arm yep right. it comes off very easily and you can change what you have mounted on there yep so end result speaks for itself sounds great so you guys better get yourself in here and start recording your demos here that's demos right that here um george yeah we're gonna start with you okay okay there you go <laughs> <laughs>